Okay, that was creepy. Well guys, you can see here for another uh, mod review. Should note that the main reason for the face cam this time is it's a horror mod, and I kind of want the expression of fear to be on my face for all you guys to see. And yeah, I will go to. Well, I'm already in pieces, so I need to see. Okay, first of all, first of all. These are the reason I kind of made this pen. And I would go to survival right now. Just because I want to get rid of this one. But anyway. This is the first creepy pasta, and I should note you get these archives by using a computer that comes with the mod, but I'm having difficulties with it right now. So I'm just going to spawn them in. First up is Jeff the Killer. And as you can see, it's now raining because Jeff the Killer is here. He's a hostile mob, and if I was on survival, he would be rushing right at me right now. And uh, to show you something a little odd, and uh, yeah, I am, you probably just saw the lightning, but anyway, uh, let me go to E so I can get this. Villager, okay, and uh, let me uh, hear the sound, because I actually want you guys to hear this. Somewhat. But I'm actually hoping you guys can hear me too, but anyway, uh, let me put this guy down. This is a villager. Death the Killer sees a villager, well... And that's part of the story. Goes to sleep, go to sleep. He'll kill you right after he says that. Uh, if you want to hear the story, I'll include a link to some ordinary gamers. Uh, video about it. Up next is Jane the Killer, and Jane's only reason of, to exist is to attack Jeff the Killer. As you can see, the two are going at it. And then she says, sleep well. I wonder that for some reason... Another Jeff spawn? Odd. Okay. For some reason, Dr Jeff dropped the blaze sword, which is a part of, well, this, the North Swords mod. Uh, normally, he should drop his knife, Jeff's knife, and the only reason I can assume he's not dropping it now is because I think there's probably an ID conflict between the two mods. So at some point, I probably should have deleted the uh, More Swords mod, but I can't. It just comes in handy during uh, mob-related, uh, you know, mods. 
as you can see, Jeff really scared me. I mean, just how he looks is terrifying. Uh, but when you hear his story, you'll really, really be terrified. Up next, and Game of Killer says, sleep well, because, well, Jeff's thing is go to sleep. Up next is Eyeless Jack, and I will include uh, the story about him from the uh, Pretty Pasta Wiki in the description down below. God, you are so fucking creepy, and yeah, I swore I don't really care, because he scares the bejesus out of me. Okay, up next is this guy. Once again, I will link uh, a Mudahar video about this creature. I think this is the rake. I could be wrong. No, it's Mothman. And as you see, the texture is kind of off. Not sure why. But, yeah, I'm not sure why. But here's the thing. Mothman predates Creepypasta. Uh, if you check Wikipedia, you'll find that the first known sighting uh, of Mothman, yeah, there's a literal sighting of him, was in the 70s. Heck, there's even a movie about him that predates the Creepypasta thing. Called the Mothman uh, Prophecies, I think is what it's called. Anyway, next up is, I hope this one works, but... This is the rake. He's the one I'm going to be linking into a video. And he kind of fits into cryptozoology a bit, but at the same time, he's an original creation, I assume, by the Kukipasta community out there. Okay, up next is, let me see, after the rake, we've got, well, probably the most infamous uh, Kukipasta creation of them all. Okay, let me spawn him again because apparently you didn't get a good enough view. I'll do it outside of the pen here so you can actually see him. Man, the rain's coming down, but that's only because I guess these things are so scary they cause the weather. You know, I forgot to turn full bright on. Yeah, that's better. That is Slender Man, and he was an inspiration for actually a Minecraft mod, uh, the Ender Man. Because just like Slender, uh, they teleport, and there's a creeper. Yeah, creepers aren't pretty possible. They should be though. Up next is. Smile Dog, and if you look right at him, he will become a Smile Dog. Or at least he's supposed to. I think there's actually something wrong with uh, the mod. I don't know. Because you're supposed to look at him and he will become a Smile Dog. Yet I. Nothing's happening. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see what's supposed to happen, uh, I'll go watch it. Sky's video, I guess. Okay, this next one is, uh, I'm actually going to try to get him out of there, because I don't think he works in the pen. This is Squidward's suicide, but as you can see, there's no texture, and normally if you right-click him, he's supposed to kill himself. And once again, there's a video link down below of uh, the story. But if I try to right click this untextured block, yeah, it just crashes my Minecraft. Okay, we have two more creep crosses left. This is the Strider, and as you can see, Yeah, you could write him. I found that to be kind of friggin' cool. And 
and now for the last part of the pre-pasta mod. And like I said, I don't know m much about these guys. Some of them I do, some of them I don't. Uh, but I will note that they are freaking creepy. Uh, this is uh, the seed eater. I'm not sure whether he eats seeds, like you know, seeds that you plant, or seeds as in you know, our semen. Because if that's the case, that makes him a homo. Sorry, 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 sorry to meet them, my gay viewers. Sorry. It was a joke, and I really, really take it back, I'll tell you that. But yeah, if he does eat seeds, I guess that makes him a vegetarian. But I'm bump. Okay, next. Oh, here he is. This is the seed eater. Okay, there is one other part of this uh, mod that I want to showcase, and uh, it's in the uh, intro, in the data, not really in the part of it here. And this is a music disc that he had you box to play. It's the Lavender Town music, and uh, for those wondering why, it's here. Well, there is a older legend about uh, the Lavender Town music, and uh, because of it, it's become the subject of many, many Pokemon food classes. Some shitty, some uh, even scary, but it's kind of cliche. Uh, yeah. yeah, and uh, I will much later be making a haunted house using this mod, and uh, inspiration comes from uh, Sunday of Team Crafted, uh, and I really hope that when I make that video, it terrifies the shit out of people. But this is one of three uh, horror-related mods I will be doing. Uh, all three of them will have face cam, of course. Uh, uh, the other two are coming soon and will be the Hero Blind mod and uh, Slendercraft. But in between them, I will also be doing kind of normal reviews, meaning the just my commentary and, uh, you know, non-terrifying things, I guess. And I really hope you guys like the intro, too. It took a while to kind of make. Like I said, I really hope you liked it. Uh, for now, this is Ian MC signing out.